Today's video is about how to figure out a mean and a standard deviation from a normal distribution. Example 1. Find the mean of a normally distributed random variable x with a standard deviation sigma equals 5. If a probability x less than or equal to 38.7, is a 0 0.76. Here's the steps. Find the z value from inverse norm. Then use this formula to figure out this mean. First of all, go to this graphing calculator, clear the memory, second plus 712. Then go to second distribution. Go to number three, inverse norm. For the area, we use 0 0.76 because here is less than or equal to, which means we can get this z value from calculator directly. So we put 0 0.76. Since this is a z distribution, which means uh, the mean is a zero and a standard deviation will be one. We call this is a z value, that is a 0 0.706 as a three significant figures. Then we use uh, this formula mu equals x minus uh, z sigma to figure out uh, this uh, mean. x will be 38.7, 38.7. Then minus, this z value is uh, here. Then times, sigma given is a uh, 5 then enter. This will be the mean. Now let's go to example two. Find the standard deviation of a normally distributed random variable x with the mean is 33.8. If a probability x greater than 41.9 is 0 0.27, then you need to figure out this uh, standard deviation. Here's the step. First of all, you need to change this uh, probability into x less than or equal to 41.9. That will be 1 minus 0 0.27. Then you can use inverse norm to get z value. Then you need to plug into this uh, formula to figure out the standard deviation. So we go to second distribution here, inverse norm. The area, which means uh, probability, that is uh, 1 minus 0 0.27. Since this is a standard uh, normal distribution, z distribution, therefore, mean is zero and uh, sigma is one. This will be the z value. So we plug into this uh, formula to get a standard deviation. We do alpha y equals enter x will be 41.9, 41.9, then minus 33.8 over this z will be 0 0.6128, so I do second 
negative sign is answer. Then enter. You will get um, this uh, standard deviation will be 13.2 as uh, three significant figures. Now let's go to example three. Find the mean and the standard deviation of a normally distributed random variable x. If a probability x less than or equal to 25 equals 0 0.15 and a probability x greater than or equal to 34 is 0 0.23. Here's the steps. First of all, you need to change probability x greater than or equal to 34 into probability x less than or equal to 34. That equals 1 minus 0 0.23. Then you use inverse norm to figure out z1 and z2. We put a z1 as a x less than or equal to 25. We figure out that z value. Z2 will be x greater than 34. Then you use uh, this uh, formula. You go to the y1, y2 to figure out uh, the intersection to get the value of a mean and a standard deviation. So we do second variable to go to distribution. Inverse normal, enter. We do probability x less than 25 first. So we get 0 0.15. That will be z1. z could be negative. That is negative 1.15. 0, 0.04. Then we do second distribution again. This time you need to put 1 minus 0 0.23. You will get this time z equals 0 0.74. Now you can set up this uh, system of uh, equations now. For the mu equals 25 minus uh, negative 1.04, I use the uh, three significant digits, then sigma. The second equation will be mu equals 34 minus 0 0.739. Sigma. Then we go to y equals. That's 25 minus negative 1.04. You put the x. Then for second equation, we put 34 minus 0 0.73 x. The x will be sigma. The y will be this uh, mean. So we graph first. It didn't show over here. Therefore, you need to change the window. For the window, x is uh, too small. So we do negative 50. This will be the 50. Here's a 5. The y is a small 2. So y, I can do negative 100. And a maximum, you do 100. Skill, we just divided by 10. That will be. 10. So we graph this time. 
as long as you could see this uh, intersection means uh, it's a good window. So we have second trace. Five. Enter, enter, enter. So we get this X will be standard deviation 5.08. The mean will be 30.3. That's the solution to this problem.